Hey everybody, Ben here from DMC Films. Today we're going to be making a feather pen out of this feather here. Uh, just to show you, this is uh, another feather that I picked up in my yard uh, sometime last year. And as you can see, it writes and draws uh, just like you would a, a dip pen for ink that you'd buy in an art store. Now, if you don't have a feather, uh, you know, go to a park, go to you know any kind of public place uh, where there's a few trees, you might find a feather. Uh, you might be able to buy a feather at a craft store, but make sure it is a real feather and not a synthetic fe feather, otherwise it won't work. Or at least it won't work nearly as well. So here we have our feather. Um, what you want to make sure you do is, uh, when you cut it, you want to make sure that you cut it in such a way that the curve of the feather goes sort of down over your hand. If this one, in particular, I cut the, the wrong direction, and it's remarkably awkward to hold. So you want to make sure that uh, the curve is down rather than up. So before we get started, let me show you the tools we're going to be using. Uh, I have a sharp, a thin object. Uh, in, in this case, it's, it's a dart. Uh, if you don't have uh, something like this that's metal, you can use a toothpick. It'll work just the same. And then we have uh, an X-Acto knife for making the cut itself. And that's really all you need. Alright, so to start out, you want to take the feather and hold it, hold it in your hand the way you would want to uh, draw with it, just whatever's more comfortable for you. And you know, like I said, just make sure your curve. And all feathers have something of a curve. Uh, make sure the curve is sort of heading down over your arm, like that. So you hold it like that, and grab your knife, and then I'll switch hands so I don't cut myself. And just take it down at an angle, and cut and cut the end off. Now, as you can see here, it's I have something of a tail, and you're just going to trim that little tail off, and basically cut it down to a point. Now the trick with creating a feather pen is that feathers uh, sort of splinter and, and, and fray much like a piece of wood might. Uh, so you, when, you, when you make your cut, uh, you want to make sure the tip is a solid tip and it doesn't really have any of these special feathered ends, so I'm going to cut that again one more time basically carving down the point, making sure it's solid. And as you use a, uh, a feather, uh, it, the tip will eventually uh, uh, become a little less dominant and, and uh, start to fade down a little bit, in which case then you'd uh, just make another cut again. And that looks pretty good now. Now the top, uh, as of right now, is... I don't have all that much of room for ink to sit, so I'm just going to angle the knife a little more again this time, but I don't want to make it any shorter because it's already pretty short as it is. So I'm just cutting a little more off the top to give the ink more more of a place to sit. And that's pretty much it. Now there's a little bit of uh, internals to, to a feather, so that's why you have the dart here, and you kind of reach in with the dart and just scrape out little flaky insides to the feather. And there you have a completed feather pen. Now depending on uh, the way you're drawing, you may want to take some of these feathers off. I usually do as well. Uh, just some of the ones around the handle. And just kind of shave some of those off. And I would recommend doing this with a uh, some kind of an X-Acto knife. Or a, this is a box cutter, but you know, same thing. Uh, and not scissors, because scissors would not be sharp enough to do this. Just pull some of those off. That looks pretty good. And then the only way to test a feather pen is to obviously use it. So we have a little bit of ink. I'm gonna dip that in there. Get your little bead of ink on the edge. And sure enough, be able to write. Just remember to re-dip and reapply your ink. And you can continue to draw with it for quite a while. So that's all there is to it. You know, if you find a feather in your yard or you know wherever you happen to live, find yourself a feather. The bigger the better. Uh, this is a relatively thin one. It's probably only about an eighth of an inch wide there. But uh, generally, 
Feathers, great way to draw, and a great replacement for any kind of dip pen that you might buy in an art store. Feathers are free, uh, dip pens are not. So for more tips, tutorials, and painting videos, please stay tuned to the DMC Films channel here on YouTube. See you guys next time.